and welcome to this Wednesday upload. My name's Nicola if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not done already. Right, so for a long time, it's been a minute since we've done a fibro section. <laughs> I haven't got the trusty notepad. I have got a trusted phone because I've recorded it all on here. So I did a fibro hacks, I filmed a fibro hacks video um, a long time ago and if you haven't seen that I will link it in the description for you. And I, it was quite popular so I thought well I'll do another one for you because since then I've learned some new fibro hacks. So I thought I would share them with you, share the knowledge, share the knowledge. Right, so the first one, let's get straight into it, is my drinking cup. So what I'm going to do is link all this in the description below for you. So if there's anything that you think that would help me, you can get it. If I can't get exactly the same, I will get something similar. So this is the first fibro hack I am sharing with you. It's literally like a beaker. I can't even open it. There you go. So that just pops off and it's suitable for hot and cold drinks. Now I suffer a lot with my wrist, with wrist pain, hand pain, um, arm pain. And a lot of the times I cannot pick up, like today, I've got my mug of tea here. <laughs> <laughs> mug of the day and I'm okay with this today although it is very heavy um, but on a bad day I will use this for either usually for my cup of tea because I I have this for my water I always have this filled with water I drink about three of those a day at least and now the battery's flashing so I will be back in tickety-boo I'm back <laughs> <laughs> new battery all is good so this drinking cup makes it a lot easier for if you're worried you're going to spill it because it's hot and you don't want to burn yourself and you're having a bad wrist pain day then grab yourself one of these they're not expensive they're under a fiver I think for one of these and it goes in the dishwasher I think it does anyway yeah dish dishwasher top rack only so it's ideal you know you could just grab it and have your tea without the worry of spilling it everywhere so the next thing is I haven't got with me because it's on the wall <laughs> and it's toilet and shower grab rails so I use these every day in the shower and sit on the toilet they're just grab rails that go on your wall you can get them in like plastic I've got them in chrome I'm going to put a picture up here so that you can see my one um, but just be careful because we noticed that they do rust with the water in the shower and it was starting to leak on the tiles so be careful of that one but yeah you could get them in chrome and white or probably black I don't know and they're just easy for you to hold on to I hold on while I'm having a shower because I'm very unsteady on my feet I hold on to help me get down to the toilet because I've got osteoarthritis in my knees and it's very painful so they're a must for me I have to have a grab rail <laughs> so they are a definite must I think for a fibro hack okay the next one is tablet pots I have shown these before um, <laughs> it, might, it might look huge but this is my tablet pot Contain. Now I've had this years so I'm not sure if I'm going to find the exact one on Amazon but I will try and find one similar. So it just undoes here by, by Velcro and then you've got, obviously I'm missing that one because that's today's which is Monday um, but they're all labelled and they have different sections. Let me get one out so you can see how many tablets I can fit in. They're, they're brilliant because you can fit in so many tablets. So you can see there's loads of room there for tablets because I have a lot of, um, what do you call it, herbal tablets as well. Uh, but this is, this is really, really good. I take this on holiday. Um, you can list your medications here. 
So also another tip is, is what I do um, for Mark, when Mark does my tablet pots, I write a list and keep it on the inside cupboard of where I keep the tablets of everything that I need to have like morning, lunch, evening, just so he knows what to put in. Um, and if you, you know, if you live on your own or if you don't have someone to do that, it's still worth doing it either for your memory or in case anything happens to you and someone needs to know what medicine you need, okay? Um, but these are the brilliant hack for, for fibro, definitely. So like I say, I will try and find something similar and list it below for you. Right, the next thing we've got for high bro, <laughs> fibro hacks, <laughs> high bro facts, <laughs> is um, this Russell Hobbs food chopper. It's quite heavy. So <laughs> I'll, I'll put my elbow down so I can support it. So this comes off and this is the thing that will like motorise the, the chopper inside um, but if you again like me suffer with your wrists and your hands this is a brilliant contraption literally all you need to do is rinse it to, to clean it and it chops everything like really it can chop it finely it can you could just do it a little bit and it'll chop it a little bit um, but you've got onions you could do carrots you could do courgettes you can do any anything in there to be honest anything um and i don't think this because this is an old one i've had this you know a few years so i will again try and find something similar because i don't think i'll find the exact one but with this you just literally push that down when it's plugged in and it just works and it's not hard to push either it's quite a light push so instead of chopping with your hands and you know it's so much easier with that food chopper so definitely invest in one of those if you like me and with fibromyalgia you suffer with hyperhidrosis which is excessive sweating a fan is a must okay so this one you can get these on amazon it's got three speed settings let me show you so it's quite powerful isn't it sends me fringe up now it's messed up <laughs> i use this little one like in my handbag so if i'm going out and especially we're in for a heat wave soon i think so this is going to be coming everywhere with me and i've also seen people use it in disney parks um which is quite good and you can get one a fan thing that goes around your neck and has a fan like each side so it just constantly blows up so i'll try and link that for you as well um but this one i also use for my makeup so that when i'm because i usually the hyperhidrosis is usually in the morning i suffer most with it especially after i've had a shower because i feel that spikes my body temperature i've tried to have a cold shower afterwards but it doesn't help i still sweat so i have this to do my makeup and then i have a massive fan in our bedroom that I have on at night as well in the summer but I have that on when I'm trying to get dressed fans are a must with hyperhidrosis so definitely a good fibro hack oh yeah now I haven't got this one with me because I'm using it it's a shower shampoo bar so this one has got um, tea tree oil in it and it helps with the itchy scalp so I have to switch up my shampoos. I cannot use the same shampoo because my scalp is so sensitive. So like I will, I have, I have about three, three shampoos I switch up. And one of the newest one is the shampoo bar and it's so good and it wasn't dear. That was from Amazon, I believe. And like I say, it's got the tea tree oil in it to soothe your scalp. So that's a really good one to have um the other shampoos i use is herbal essences which is like the um it's a blue bottle and it's basically not got any sulfates and things like that in um and tea gel is another one that's good for an itchy scalp it just soothes it um itchiness with fibro is so common i suffer with so much itchiness all over my body so 
to have something that will help my scalp is brilliant but yeah this this soap bar is really good you literally just wet your hair and then you rub it all over and it's done you know you can lather it up and rub it in so i will link that for you so the next one is my book light so for all those sleepless pain somnia nights um I have this book light that clips onto your book so that I can still read but I'm not keeping Mark awake and you turn it on here hang on, and it has lots of different settings you can see that there I mean obviously you can't see how bright it is because but you can have it dimmer if you want to so that you're not disturbing anyone and it just charges up by a USB um, but this usually lasts me I'd say two or three weeks of use without having to charge it and it just saves like I say having to keep Mark awake when I want to read if I can't sit yeah I'm reading uh, Bridgerton the Duke and I at the moment um, it's brilliant I, I mean I've watched Bridgerton twice I think the first series second series I've only watched once at the moment but yeah this is really good series but yeah, this book light, I will uh, link for you as well. But it's definitely a good hack for when you don't want to wake your partner up. Or even if you don't want to have the big light on, like to try, that will wake you up more. You've just got a more gentle light to read to. So that's a good one. Right, going back to the kitchen, we've got an electric can opener. So literally... I couldn't cope without this you just pop it on top of the can press the button and it will undo the lid for you press it again and it stops um, absolutely brilliant they're about 15 pounds I think and well worth investing again saves your hands and your wrists must have with fibro hacks this one I've invested in recently say invested in it literally cost a couple of quid but it's a lanyard so I found this really handy when I was going out during the pandemic um, and it just says this on it so my disability is I can't see not always visible I have a hidden health condition please be understanding so I find obviously with fibromyalgia it is the hidden invisible illness and so many even the doctor the other day who knows me well says oh you're looking really well I wanted to slap her so, <laughs> so I thought you knew about fibro anyway so this is really handy to wear out especially if you're not feeling good one day and you've got to go somewhere put this on and people can be a bit more understanding that you need a bit more help um, you know it's it's helpful for people to know that you have got a hidden disability um, also it's good for like when you're parking in the blue badge in your disabled spaces and the amount of looks I get especially from older people that look at me as if to say you do not need to park here um, you know if you get out and you're wearing this they would be like oh okay there's something <laughs> obviously <laughs> whereas if you just get out and walk off they they think that you're just you know messing about I mean more often or not that I have a stick but it's still I think this is really worth having I don't know if this is Amazon or eBay but I will find it and link it for you whichever one it is <laughs> all right the next one <clears throat> is also to do with hyperhidrosis and it's a cooling towel and also you can use this for migraines or bad headaches so I bought this from a garden centre I think it was about was it about £10? Something like that. You literally wet it and then you can put it round like your neck. Obviously, take your hair out of the way. Or you can put it on your head. Um, you can use it, like, say for exercise. I know exercise isn't always possible with fibro, but I know some people with fibro do exercise. But it, it's quite a good cooling thing to have. Um, and it's surprising it does stay cool quite a long time so that's another good one 
this mouth spray I bought this quite a while ago it's homeopathic and it's muscular pain relief let me show you okay can you see that so you literally spray it holds can upright spray a few centimeters from the mouth apply one to two sprays into mouth up to three times a day and do not swallow so I take this in my bag with me and I use this if I'm out and I'm having a bad pain flare I will do a couple of sprays and it really does help so I will link this it's by Willida um, it's just good to have like you can only use it I think it said didn't it say up to three times a day so don't use it more than three times a day but it's it's a really good thing to pop in your bag so if you are out and about and you think oh, it really hurts um, you can just give it a spray and then get on with your time out and still enjoy yourself okay so that's another good one now on my old fibro hacks video someone commented the other day um, giving me some more options so I thought I'd list them for you here so one of them is a triangle or body pillow I've had a body pillow and they are delightful they are the triangle pillow I used to have that when I was like breastfeeding the girls so I remember having the triangle pillow for that but I, I've had a body pillow for fibro and I absolutely loved it and I'm really sad I got rid of it. Hello Eve. But I got rid of it when we moved. I think I was just decluttering everything. And it is very bulky. So if you don't care about that, then that's fine. But I'm quite OCD with interior design. So if my room looks messy, I feel like... Ugh. Even though the body pillow is the best thing ever. <laughs> and I really wish I'd kept it try one do try one they are delightful they are delightful and she also said an eye mask or a cooling eye mask so for when you get migraines or headaches or if you're just feeling like completely stressed out with everything you can put like this cooling eye mask on I think you could put it in the fridge or the freezer or something um, Holly always sleeps with an eye mask, she can't sleep without one, which I've never slept with an eye mask, so I couldn't tell you if it helped or not, but try it, who knows. And then she's also said about hiking sticks for walking. Um, I haven't actually tried hiking sticks, but I do use my walking, I've got a few walking sticks, well I've got three, um, but this is my favourite because I like the shaped handle, the way it's curved round and I find it the most comfortable. I like the way it's thin and I also like my strap that goes on your wrist um, to stop it from, like if you're at a till or something, then it won't fall over. Um, the stick, my stick was actually, it's got fish on it if you're wondering what the pattern is, it's all different fish. This is from a garden centre. Now, they're the one of the best places to get your walking sticks if you like this sort of vibrant pattern um they're they're not cheap they're around 30 to 40 pounds a walking stick but they're a good investment um and the strap was from neo uh walk sticks and that was 15 pounds um i have i won a neo walking stick um a couple of years ago and i love it but i find it very heavy and due to my wrists and hands i can't have heavy things so that's this is why i like this because it's lightweight and i've also got a black one with a big rubber end because this has just got this they're called ferrules i think it's just got this one um but my black one has like a, a wider one so it's a bit more supportive but I just like this one because it's colourful and light and comfortable. So walking stick is a definite. Everywhere I go, I take a walking stick. <laughs> I have to because I need to be supported. She also mentioned audiobooks. So audiobooks are great for if you're 
listening to um, you, or you want to read but you're finding it hard to hold, physically hold a book or you're finding it hard to um, turn the pages and things like that then an audio book's great because you could prop it up somewhere and you just tap it I think or swipe or something I used to I used to have a Kindle but oh what am I talking about now I'm talking about Kindles <laughs> okay Kindles are great too <laughs> Kindles are great too audiobooks where you put your headphones in and you listen to a book right so audiobooks you listen to instead of having to hold something or follow it with your eyes that's what I'm trying to get at Kindle is where it's just on a tablet style thing both are great go and do them <laughs> I bet you're glad you tuned in now aren't you <laughs> right now on the same line as audiobooks and Kindles and things um, I'm going to mention podcasts because podcasts have been the biggest fibro hack for me I think that I've ever had so I will put on my favorite podcasts to do a job in the bungalow whether it be a bit of washing up putting some washing on a bit of tidying up whatever it is hanging some washing out whatever the job is I will put on a podcast because it helps me get through that job and I look forward to listening to it. If you haven't um, seen my favourites videos, I can link them for you as well. I will list in my favourites videos all my favourite podcasts so you can go and check them out. Now I've also got some probiotics. These are brilliant. Now with fibromyalgia, I'd say most people suffer with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS as well and it's not a nice thing it's very dis um, uncomfortable and I take these probiotics it's two a day and they are brilliant absolutely brilliant so I will link these for you as well but they've really really helped my IBS really helps it but I wondered as well if you would be interested in me doing a live one Wednesday of my tablets going through what I take um, so including herbal so let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in that live and if you'd come along for it um, and what sort of time would be best for you on a Wednesday to do that because I don't know what time you know is, is a good time for people so let me know um, and I will do that for you at some point now my last fibro hack for you today is going to be distraction. Now you might all groan at that and think, but honestly, the other day, so I've been a bit poorly lately with a bad throat. And last Sunday night, I was so poorly that my fibro went through the roof and it felt like someone was stamping on my knee. I had to take Oromorph and I was not in a good place and I thought the only thing I can do here is to take myself off. I've had two lots of uh, counselling during my time since I became ill with fibromyalgia and ME and both sets have helped me mentally with coping with my illness and one of the strategies is distraction, it's taking yourself off to your happy place. So I was laying in bed in absolute agony and I took myself off to Florida because that's my happy place. And I went to Universal Studios in my mind. I went round the park in my mind and I went on the rides that I love. I went to see all the places I love and it just takes the edge off. I'm not saying it's gonna take your pain away, but it helps, it does help. But you've really gotta get in the zone you've got to shut your eyes and be in that happy place but that happy place for you could be your garden it could be your bed <laughs> it could be the sofa it could be a place you went on holiday like 
I'm saying with Florida, just find your happy place and try and take yourself there. And it, I promise you, it really, really does help. So anyway, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, let me know if you'd like more fibro hack videos. Let me know about the medication live. And I will see you all on Saturday for the weekly. Please come and join us. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments as well any any other fibro hacks that you suggest and I'll mention them next time. Um, love you all lots, take care and I will see you soon. Mwah.